And this class is soothing movement and yoga nidra. Um, so first and foremost is just to get yourself nice and comfy. Yeah. Um, but so grab whatever you need. So I always personally put out my mat and then like a blanket on top. Um, just for a little added support. And then if you want to grab one or two blocks, um, if you want to grab a bolster, if you have a yoga bolster, or if you want to just grab one or two bedroom pillows and grab a strap this evening. So you'll need a yoga strap if you have one, um, or just grab a hand towel will work perfectly. And then if you want a blanket to cover up with, grab that too. So lots of props this evening. So you have one or two pillows or a bolster. You have two blocks, your strap. Hi, Angie. Good evening. Welcome. And then set yourself up in a nice space. So if you want to maybe dim the lights, if you're a candle person and you want to light some candles, um, you know, set yourself up to really let yourself relax and unwind the next hour and a half. And maybe some incense. I think I just saw some incense go. All right, my friends. So it looks like everybody's setting up. And I know a few people just popped on. So if you just popped on, you have your mat, maybe a blanket on top, two blocks, bolster or pillows. And then maybe an extra blanket to cover up with. And yeah, let yourself kind of set a mood in your space. So I see people lighting candles, maybe dimming the lights. What also can be really nice is an eye pillow. So there are specifically made eye pillows, but even just like a tissue or a washcloth across the eyes can be really nice. Um, to just help tune everything out. So that's an option if you'd like. And I realize I threw a lot of props at you, so take your time <clears throat> as you gather everything. And if there's some things you don't have, it's okay too. You can always adjust. All right. So as you start to get everything set up, get your mat really... Nice and comfortable. Let's start seated. An option here if you'd like to sit on anything, maybe a little pillow or folded blanket or block it can be nice to help elevate the hips. Helps to tilt the pelvis forward, relax the knees down. All right. And then your hands. And rest on your thighs or your knees. And I'll invite you to have the palms face down this evening. The palms facing down is more of a grounding, slowing down energy. <sighs> Sit up nice and tall. Feel your seat just settling in, connecting with the earth beneath you. The crown of your head can stretch up towards the sky above you. Maybe you close the eyes. Or just turn your gaze down towards the ground. For those of you who maybe have a candle or even incense lit, it can be nice to turn your gaze towards that as well. Start to settle in from your day. Whatever happened today, let that go. At least for the next 90 minutes, but whatever happened, completely release from your mind.
whatever you may have coming up after this or tomorrow or this weekend, whether there's excitement around that or stress or maybe just indifference, let that go as well. Begin to notice what it feels like to be fully present. To not be thinking about the past or thinking about the future. Just arriving here as you are. And knowing that however you arrive today, however you show up is perfect, is beautiful, is exactly how it's meant to be. Begin to shift your awareness to your breath. Feel the rhythm of your breath flowing through you. And knowing what a gift that is, the breath. Now letting the breath shift into a few slow exhales. So you'll breathe in through the nose and just a slow controlled exhale out through the mouth. Take a breath in and a slow breath out. Inhale, exhale, and continue on your own. After your next exhale, you can release the breath. 
And take a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth with a sigh or a sound. And from here, you'll start to shift into Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril breathing. So you can take your dominant hand here and two options. You can come into Vishnu Mudra, which is drawing the index finger and middle finger in towards your palm. So that's the traditional hand gesture. Another option can be to place the index finger and middle finger right to your third eye, that space between your eyebrows. So sometimes that can be quite nice there as well. And you can always kind of hold the elbow to keep you centered. So as your hand comes towards your face, just take a breath in and a breath out. And you'll begin by closing off the right nostril. Take an inhale through the left. Seal off the left nostril. You'll lift your finger and exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Seal that off. Lift the finger, exhale left. Inhale left. Seal off. Lift the finger, exhale right. Inhale. Close. Exhale opposite side. Inhale. Close. Exhale, opposite. Inhale. Close. Exhale, opposite. Continue side to side with that pattern, that rhythm here. Next time you exhale through the left nostril, you can lower your hand back down. And take a breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Just pause here in stillness. Witness how you're feeling. Now you can open the eyes. And if you're sitting on anything, you might wanna move that out of the way. 
What you're going to do, we're going to start with just a little massage, a little self-massage. So you're going to take the index finger and middle finger of both hands, so your peace fingers here. You're going to start at the chin. Just take these little circles into the chin. And the eyes can be open for this, or it can be nice to close the eyes. You're going to start to move those little circles up the jaw. And you'll make your way all the way up to the hinge of your jaw, which is kind of right next to the ears. And you'll take a few circles there. You can move those circles back down to the cheeks now. Just massaging into the cheeks. And if you'd like to sweep under the eyes, along the nose. Let yourself explore a bit here what would feel good for you or what your body just intuitively wants to do here. And you'll bring those fingers to the third eye and you'll gently pull up just about a quarter of an inch. You're gonna sweep out along your eyebrows and draw your fingers down to your temples. Bring it back to the third eye. Pull it up to about the center of your forehead. Draw it out towards either side, down to the temples. Come back to that third eye one more time. You'll pull it all the way up to the top of your forehead. Sweep it down to your temples. And as you land at the temples, a few little circles there. You can sweep your hands around to the back of your neck and massage into the neck. Maybe massage into your shoulders. Just noting any areas of tension. And when you're ready, bring your hands to your thighs and you can let the eyes blink open here. Stretch the legs out. You're just gonna sweep it down. So sweeping this energy down. <sighs> and then you can bring your hands into little fists and you'll just gently tap up the legs. And then down the outsides of your legs. And then up the insides. And again, just sweeping it out, brushing it out, releasing here what no longer serves you. All right. And then when you're done with that, the legs can stay stretched out if that feels good or if you prefer to cross the legs here. You'll continue to sit up tall. Reach your fingertips down towards the earth. Inhale, stretch your arms up overhead. Now exhale, the fingertips touch, the palms face down. And you'll pull this grounding energy through center. Once hands reach the belly, inhale, stretch it out, reach up towards the sky. And exhale to pull it all the way down through midline. Inhale to lift up. 
Exhale for that slow lower. Inhale. Exhale, release. Do that one more time. Big inhale, stretch up. And exhale all the way down. And you can lower your fingertips to your sides and pull your chin towards your chest. Make a few little circles here. So tiny circles. We'll come back to taking bigger ones. So try to keep these as small as you can. And circle the opposite way. Now bring your head back through center. You'll draw your chin towards your chest. Now you can hold here with the fingertips still pressing into the earth. Or you can interlace your fingers and bring your hands around to the back of the head. The elbows can reach out or you might squeeze them in towards each other. Now release your hands back down to the earth. Tip the right ear towards the right shoulder. You can stay or you can bring your right hand gently onto the head. The left fingers can stay down or sweep that arm behind you and walk the fingers up the back. You'll turn your head, look down towards your right hip. Take that left arm, stretch it up in the air, inhale. Exhale, bend the elbow, walk your fingers down your back. Now release your hands to your mat, you'll pull your chin towards your chest. Inhale, now exhale left ear over to the left shoulder. You can stay or you can bring the left hand onto the head, a little press down. Your right fingers can stay on the earth or you can sweep it behind you, walk your fingers up your back. As you look down towards your left hip, take your right arm, stretch it up in the air, inhale. Exhale, bend the elbow, walk your fingers down your back. Lower your hands, draw your chin towards your chest. Now you'll start to take those big circles into the neck, only if that feels good for you. If not, keep them small. And circle the opposite way. Bring your head back through center. Take the legs, extend them out in front of you and open up the feet 
at least as wide as your mat. If it feels okay, you can definitely go wider. And then you'll bring your hands behind you. Give yourself a little push forward. That'll help to tilt the pelvis, keep the legs engaged. Now inhale, lift up through the arms. Exhale, you'll fold down the center. So hands to your mat, plant the palms. Inhale, press into the hands so the heart opens, the gaze is forward. Exhale to walk the hands out and then release the head. You lift your head, walk your hands over to the right. So towards your right leg, you're going to keep the right hand down. So it's right next to the leg. Stretch the left arm up in the air. You can inhale, reach out through both arms. Now exhale, left arm is going to come over. So right over the ear, try to stretch your fingers down towards your toes. Keep that chest open. Look down towards your right leg. You'll lower the left hand. Bring both one hand to either side of your leg. So the framing the leg here. Inhale, push into the fingertips. The heart lifts up. Exhale, fold over your leg. So if you'd like to walk the hands out, you can. If you prefer to take hold of the leg or the foot or even use a strap around your foot here, you can. And lift your head. Now walk your hands back through center. So up on your fingertips. Inhale, press into the fingers. Lift the chest. Exhale, walk it forward. Try to stay up on the fingers here. Release the chest and the head down. Inhale, you'll lift the head. Exhale, walk your hands over to the left leg. Keep your left hand down. Stretch your right arm up in the air. Inhale, reach out through both arms. Exhale, let the right arm come overhead. You can lower the right hand. Bring one hand to either side of that left leg. Inhale, press into the fingers. Exhale, walk it forward. Let yourself fold. Hands can stay on the earth or come down to your leg or your foot.
Now walk both hands back through center. Inhale. Exhale. You can walk the hands all the way back in. Draw the legs back towards each other. And now bring the bottoms of your feet together. Let your hands come onto your ankles or to the insides of your feet. Take an inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, draw yourself forward. The chest will come down and then the head. Take a few breaths into the hips. You're going to lift yourself all the way up. Keep the legs how they are. You're going to walk your hands back. You're going to come onto your back. Just make sure your strap is close by. So you don't need it yet. Just keep it close by. And you'll come all the way down. So you're in this reclining Baddha Konasana, reclining cobbler's pose. And if you'd like, you can place blocks or little blankets or pillows underneath the thighs. And let your hands come on to your belly. You might close the eyes here. Let your awareness settle onto your breath. As you transition here from seated poses to lying down, take a few rounds of a three-part breath, Durga breath. So the breath will begin in through the nose and it'll start at your belly. Then it will move up into the lungs. And breathing up into your chest. And you'll exhale through the nose to lower it back down. Chest, lungs, belly. So first take a breath in through the nose. Sigh it out through the mouth. And begin your three-part breath. Inhale through the nose. Belly fills. Lungs and chest. Exhale through the nose, chest, lungs, belly. Inhale as the belly fills, the lungs fill, the chest expands. And exhale, chest, lungs, belly. Inhale from the belly all the way up to the chest. And exhale from the chest all the way down to the belly. Inhale. Exhale. And continue for just a few more rounds.
As you complete your next exhale, you'll release your three-part breath. Take a breath in and sigh it out. <sighs> Let the knees draw in towards each other. Place your feet a little wider than hips width onto your mat. You'll reach the arms out to your sides. Inhale, lower your knees to the left. Exhale, turn your head to the right. Bring everything back through center. Inhale, knees to the right. Exhale, your head to the left. Bring everything back through center. Inhale, knees to the left. Exhale, head to the right. Rolling yourself back. Inhale, knees to the right. Exhale, your head to the left. And then bring it back to center. You'll take the legs, stretch them out in front of you. And open up the feet here as wide as your mat. Take the arms, reach them overhead. Arms will open wide. And then stretch out through the fingers. Point through the balls of your feet and try to spread out through your toes. Inhale, open up the front of the body. Create space here. And exhale, your knees into your chest. And place your hands onto the knees or onto your shins. You can move a bit side to side or shift the legs forwards and backwards. Now lower your feet down to your mat. You'll take your right foot, place it onto your left thigh. The right foot onto your left thigh. You have a figure four here with your legs. You'll reach the arms out wide. Take the legs, that figure four, over to the left. Let the right foot lower down towards the earth. As long as it feels okay in the neck, you can turn your head to the right. Let the chin draw down towards your right shoulder. And if you'd like, you can bring your right hand to the top of your head. So it's just a little added weight there. It gives the head a little pull, a bit of a deeper stretch in the neck. You can bring your head back through center, your legs through center. Hold that figure four. Inhale. Exhale. Take your figure four over to the right. And if you'd like, you can turn your head to the left. You may draw your chin down towards your left shoulder. And again, for that little added weight, the left hand this time can come towards the top of your head.
You can stretch the left arm out wide. Bring the head through center, the legs through center. Release your right foot down to the earth. And you'll stretch the legs out. You want to squeeze the thighs towards each other. Flex through the feet. Take the arms, reach them overhead. Draw your palms together, interlace your fingers, and then press the palms back behind you. Let the arms squeeze in towards the ears. Now you can sweep your arms back down to your sides. And you'll separate the feet here as wide as your mat. And again, point through the balls of your feet. So really try to spread out through your toes. The arms will stretch overhead. The arms open out wide as you stretch out through the fingers. Inhale. And exhale your knees into your chest. You'll hug the legs in. You can stay still or you can move side to side or even a little bit forwards and backwards. Now release your feet down to your mat and the feet a little bit wider than your hips. The arms will stretch out to your sides. Inhale the knees to the left. Exhale your head to the right. And bring everything back. Inhale knees to the right. Exhale head to the left. And then bring everything back. Do that one more time each side. Knees to the left, head to the right. And pull back through center. And the knees to your right, head to the left. And bring it back through center. You can place your left foot onto your right thigh. Find your figure four for this side. You'll take that figure four, lower it over to the right. Continue to stretch the arms out wide. And if you'd like to add in that bit of a neck stretch here, you can turn your head to the left and you can either stay here or the left hand onto the head. This time you might give it a little pull down. And stretch the arms out, roll onto your back. And take that figure four to the left. The head can turn to the right. If you'd like to place your hand onto the head, give it that little pull down. You can roll onto the back, lower your left foot down to the earth. And take a breath in, 
and the breath out. Stretch the legs out in front of you. Then squeeze the thighs towards each other. Point your toes up. Reach the arms overhead. Draw your palms together. Interlace your fingers. Press the palms back. Inhale as you stretch out long. Then exhale, sigh it out. Bring your arms to your sides. You can bend both of the knees and find your strap. You'll take that, place it around the bottoms of both of your feet. Your legs will stretch up into the air. Let your toes point up towards the sky and then draw your toes down. Toes point and draw down. Point and draw down. You can release your left foot down to your mat. So the straps around the right foot. Let the toes point up towards the sky. Take a few little circles here with the leg. Pause. Circle the opposite way. Maybe the circles get a bit bigger. You can lift your leg up into the air, flex the right foot, hold on to the strap on both sides, inhale, exhale, can you walk the hands up a little higher, pull the leg in a bit closer towards the body, and take about four or five deep breaths into the back of your right leg. Now you can walk your hands down the strap a few inches. Begin to open the leg out to the right. The left knee can stay bent. Place your left hand onto the left hip. Give it a little push straight down. Send your leg up into the air. The strap will come into your left hand. Flex the right foot. Now bring the right leg over to the left about four or five inches. And then you might pull the leg in closer towards the body if you'd like. That left knee is still bent. Take the left leg, let it extend out onto your mat. Strap is still in your left hand. You'll cross the right leg over. As you come into this supine twist, the right arm can rest at your side, or if you prefer to stretch it out wide, 
And just decide for you what feels best for the neck. If you'd like to turn in either direction or you might like to keep the head at center. You can roll onto your back, extend your right leg up into the air. Place your left foot into the strap with your right. Now separate the feet about hips width apart. And try to take a few just little circles with the ankles. So they might both circle in one direction. And circle in the other direction. And you can pause, keep the feet about hips width apart, gently pull the strap down. That'll deepen the stretch in the legs and you might feel a release in the hips and the back. And you'll draw your feet back together, lower your right foot down to your mat. With the strap around your left foot, take a few little circles, try to point up through the toes. And circle the opposite way. And bring your leg back through center. As you hold on to the strap here, flex your foot. Take a breath in. Exhale, try to walk your hands up the strap a little bit higher. And you might pull the leg in towards you. We'll take about four or five deep breaths here. You can walk your hands down the strap a few inches. Keep the strap in your left hand. You'll open your leg out to the left. Bring your right hand on top of your right hip. Give it a little press down. Inhale, lift your leg up into the air. Exhale, you'll bring the strap into your right hand. Right knee stays bent. Flex that left foot. Cross it over to the right, that four to five inches. Breathe here into the left outer hip.
and take the right leg, let it extend out onto your mat. Let the left leg cross over into your twist. And maybe the left arm reaches out wide if you'd like to turn your head to one side. You can roll on to your back. Extend the left leg up into the air. One more time, stretch the right leg up, both feet in the strap and separate at least hips width apart. You can go wider here if you'd like. And if you'd like to stay still in this inversion or if you'd like to shift kind of side to side or little circles here to massage the back. You can shift the legs forwards and backwards. Take a few moments to explore. This will be your last little bit of movement before coming into Yoga Nidra. All right, once you're ready, you can draw the feet back towards each other, bend the knees, pull the legs to the chest, you can let the strap just drop off to the side. You can hug the legs in, or you can take hold of the outsides of your knees or the outsides of your feet for happy baby. I'm just noting if there's any other last little stretch, movement, shape that the body would like here before coming in to rest. Once you feel ready, you can release your feet down. And you'll let the legs stretch out. So you're going to find this final relaxation pose. So this is a time to really set yourself up to be comfortable. So those pillows and everything you might have grabbed can be really nice here. Um, maybe a pillow under the knees, pillow to support the head and neck if that would feel good. If you're someone that maybe has a hard time settling in, a pillow on the hips can be grounding. If you'd like to cover up with a blanket. If you grab something to place across the eyes, you might place that on the eyes now. And does the body need to shift? Do you need any more props? Maybe you need to remove something. There's no rush here as you find this place of comfort. This place of grounding. This safe space. You can close the eyes. 
Relax the jaw. You might circle out the jaw. Just trying to move it around in one direction. And then move it around in the other direction. As that jaw finds stillness, you allow the arms to rest at your sides. As long as it's appropriate in your body, the legs fully extend. There's no effort here. The body is melting towards the earth. Knowing that you're held, that you're supported. Let your awareness shift to the breath. Just noting how the breath is moving. Noting what the breath feels like as it flows through you. Knowing that at any time, if you feel distracted or lost, you can come back to your breath. I'll begin to imagine a place that makes you happy. Maybe this is your quote unquote happy place. A place that you frequent as often as you can. You'll let the image of this happy place really come to fruition in your mind. Imagining the colors of this place, what it looks like. What does it smell like? Are there any sounds in this place that are calming to you? Let yourself start to settle in and rest in this place that brings you joy. Start to draw to mind an intention Or maybe a prayer, or maybe a goal. And when you think of whatever this may be, prayer, goal, intention, 
You want it to be like it's happening right now. And you'll create this phrase around it. It's a positive phrase. You want to keep it in the present tense. And once you create this phrase, you'll say it to yourself three times, slowly, You'll let that intention, that prayer, just rest in your heart space. Let your awareness come back to the rhythm of your breath. You inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Begin to imagine a warm, glowing light that glowing light begins to surround you. Keeping you safe here. Keeping you relaxed. And start to relax the right side of your body. Relax the left side of your body. Relax the front of your body. And the back of your body. As I start to name specific parts of the body, you might imagine that warm glowing light there. You might just draw attention to that body part. Or you might do nothing at all. Noticing your right foot as you relax the foot, the top of your foot, and the bottom of your foot. And relaxing each individual toe, big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and pinky toe. And relaxing the left foot. top of the foot and the bottom of your foot. And 
Relaxing each individual toe, big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and pinky toe. Relaxing both feet. Relaxing the right ankle. The left ankle. The right shin. and calf. The left shin and the left calf. front of your right knee and the back of your knee. The front of the left knee and the back of your knee. Relaxing the entire right thigh. Relaxing the entire left thigh. Right hip, and the left hip. Relaxing both legs. Begin to soften and relax the belly. The right ribs and the left ribs. The right shoulder and the left shoulder. The entire back. The right upper arm, the left upper arm, the 
right elbow and the left elbow. Right forearm and the left forearm. Right wrist and left wrist. right hand the thumb index finger middle finger ring finger and pinky finger the left hand Thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky finger. Relaxing both arms. Softening through the collarbones, the throat, and neck. Relaxing the right cheek and left cheek. Your chin. Lips and nose. Right ear and left ear. Right eye and left eye. Your forehead, relaxing the entire head. The right side of the body, the left side of the body, front of the body, and back of the body. Noting your left side, then your right side. Heaviness in the body and lightness in the body. Dark and light. Moving between the left side and right side. Heaviness and lightness. Dark and light.
As you come back to your happy place, imagining the sky there. Imagining the earth Noting textures, noting smells. Do you see what do you hear? Once again, note the rhythm of your breath. Gentle inhales and exhales. For a few moments, let yourself just pause and rest in this place that brings you joy. Nothing to do here but rest.
Begin to deepen your breath. As you slowly come back to yourself, draw to mind that prayer again, that intention, that goal. As it comes back to the forefront of your mind, you might speak it out loud or you can say it quietly to yourself. And you can start to bring some movement into your body. You like to wiggle fingers, wiggle toes. The arms might reach overhead. Like a full body stretch. <sighs> and then pull your knees into your chest. Give your legs a big hug. Maybe a few little rocks side to side. And you can release your knees to one side. And with the eyes closed in your own time, you can press yourself up to sit. Once you find your seat, we'll gather here together. Draw your palms to prayer in front of your heart. Om Shanti, peace and love to each of you. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a beautiful night. Namaste.